here go. All right, morning folks. Neil here from Southwest Adventures. This morning we're on a road trip. We leave in the carcass to go to Maruga. Actually, we're going down in a place called La Luna. La Luna means the moon in Spanish. All right. So it's about 111 kilometers the distance. So we're going to go through the fields road, through Separia, Pinal, Barapo, and then come around to Maruga. Now Moruga is famous for the Moruga scorpion pepper. So we're hoping to see that when we get up there, right? Good. So who we have it all this morning? We have Caleb. Caleb, thumbs up man. Emily and Grandma. Who's this lady in the front here? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so let's go. Journey is gonna take us about maybe about two and a half hours. Right? Is it it? We'll feature some of the places of interest as we go along. Alright. Alright, so we're passing the Carcass Health Center. Continue on Southern Main Road for 33 kilometers. Now the carcass is noted for coconut trees eh? so you will see a lot of coconut trees as you, as you go along eh? Coconut trees are everywhere Millions of them <laughs> Carcass national bird <laughs> oh, Beautiful day man, beautiful day, beautiful day, look at it <laughs> Alright, so we're passing. This is the San Jose Lagoon. Beautiful place, huh? Beautiful place, man. Look at it. Mm -hmm. All part of the Southwestern Peninsula, man. Look at it. Beautiful place. Is that garbage out? Go above the garbage. Focus that on his side. Right, so this is the Great Carcass Lagoon. Passing the Great Carcass Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we, we just we came to the fields road and we just turned out we are in Los Bajos. Los Bajos means the lowlands. Continue right, on Spanish. SS. Aaron Road for 12 kilometers. Right, so we are kinda halfway there. Going along on the, on the journey. But fo focus on, on the kids in the back. Ask them how they're going there. Are you guys going in the back here? Yes. Good? Grandma, how are we going there? Mm. Alright, right, so we are now in Separia, the birthplace of Daisy Bowser, the famous. This is Daisy Bowser Street on the right here, I think. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This street here is Daisy Bowser Street on the right here. Yeah. I'm a big tower here. Communication tower there. Is it? Barrier. So we stop. We stop here to, 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 to try out this guy will scorn here. With a, with, a, with, a, with a Moruga scorpion pepper. Yeah. What's your reaction? What's your reaction? You have any idea? Yeah. Cut the people, roast corn. Okay, let's say you want to try the roast corn. You ever had roast corn before? Alright, alright. What's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe here? Yeah. Provision, body. 
know we know we know we near in the countryside. Alright, so you have a nice view down in the sun. Head north on Maruga Road toward Kumudo Road South. Kill about the road is This one good? This one good? Liking it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, many are we doing there? Good. Good? Grandma. <laughs> yeah man, so we just have another roast corn while we we get in this road trip here. Yeah? Moruga man. Alright, so we're on the beach in Moruga now, Moruga. Have a low tide today. Monument here. Mm. Two vultures on, on Columbus, St. Peter's head there, boy. Right. Moruga RC Church. Turn left onto Laloon Road. Are we going there? Nice. Alright, so we're heading down Laloon Road. We are on Laloon Road now, passing the Grand Chemin Fishing Center, a new place, really nice. We have a lovely view at the beach from here, man. Look at it. Woo! Lovely view, lovely view at the beach from here. So we almost reach our destination. Right, so we are here with Auntie Katz. Auntie Katz, we finally reach, we finally reach. Right. She wanted the tamarind tree was good, but you're feeling cool on it here, boy. Very nice. Woo. And this and the is your favorite relaxation spot. Yeah. But it really really is cool on it here. Welcome to my So she right next to the savannah here man. Yeah. You have a beautiful piece of hilltop there man. Look at it. Really 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 nice landscape here. No matter how no matter how fast you be. So and the cat took some yeah. some provision here by look at it. And some stew pork. And some pork with coconut in it. Yeah man, nice. That's what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah. So we went and take a little lunch. So this is the vibes here, man. You're under the Tamran tree in La Lune. How was, how was the food tasting? Well, Very good. Excellent okay. stuff. Provision and thing, man. Look at it. Hi, am. Hello. <laughs> how was the drive, good? Auntie Katz? Auntie Katz bring a little bit of gravy there for me. What's that? Mm -hmm. If I tell you how, how cool it is under this, this mm -hmm. under this tree here, yeah. if I tell you how cool it is under this, I feel like I'm in air condition. <laughs> now, Auntie Katz have a little small distillery here with her barrels and all that, and she makes homemade wine. So tell, just tell us what kind of wine you make now. Sorrel, so sorrel. I do hill rice. Pine. This one it's a dry sorrel. Okay. And 
I have, when you come in today, distillery, I have some tasters that you could sample, and that's about it. Okay, nice man, nice. Now, Auntie Katz wrote this book, right? What's the name of the book? Visions One. Let me see the cover, please. So this is the cover of the book, and you can find it on Amazon. Yep. Visions One. It's, it's, it's a book of what, poetry. Yes. So she's gonna she's gonna share an excerpt with us on one of the poems. What's the name of the poem? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. And 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 um, but you wanna say something about it about before before you um read it. Yes, it's um, you don't, you have to learn to let go of things and let go of things that people do to you because really, when you keep it inside, someone said once, acid does more damage in the vessel that it is stored than on the vessel that it is poured. So it is like you're storing acid when you don't forgive someone. All right. So forgiveness. I take a brother captive in my inner prison. Open there he live for many a varied reason. With no liberty in sight, a dim place he'll dwell. His day is akin to night in that prison cell. His torture, his torment will somehow never cease. No sunshiny moment until his release. To solitaire he'll belong, alone, dark and cold, only known to one, the possessor of his soul. When I truly forgive, when I set at liberty, then I'll freely live without that prisoner in me. Very good. Thank you. Bye bye, Auntie Katz. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Only best. Yes. Take care. <laughs> so after we left Auntie Katz, we drove to a place called La Savan and in an effort to locate the Maruga scorpion pepper. So this is something that is a, a trademark of Maruga. If you ever try this pepper people, let me know in the comments below. The Maruga scorpion pepper, something that is famous in Maruga. Before we go home, we will stop by this house here. It's in um, Gulfview area, and it's really is a beautiful place. You know, I mean, look at the lights. Really, really nice. So I, I, I told the kids we're gonna stick around in San Fernando for a bit. We went to KFC, and we had some KFC, and we decided that we're gonna drop by and check this house. Really, really nice place. Amazing man, like a kind of fairy land kind of settings here. You see the car and build a bee highway. <laughs> How is it? How is it? Good? Like it? Beautiful lights, eh? Beautiful lights. Beautiful lights. And the snowman. <laughs> and the snowman. He's got a long, long nose. 
So we, we decided to check this house in Palmas Park and trust me, the trip was worth it. So this brings us to the end of our Kakas to Maruga road trip. Feel free to share, feel free to subscribe. From Southwest Adventures, happy holidays. And all the best. God bless.